Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine here. Today we're working on the uh, Radden 27 again, and now we're working on the helm pump, finishing up the steering. So we got the helm pump installed, but no plumbing done yet. We've picked out a few fittings and got things kind of roughed out. In this boat we're also going to have a autopilot, so we have our autopilot pump which will be teed in and needs a supply of hydraulic fluid. tricky things is uh, getting these, uh, getting all the fittings clocked the right way so that your hoses lay nicely and this hose here needs to have a downhill slope all the way to the uh, autopilot pump which is not here, is going to be sitting right here. Um, these are the high pressure hydraulic lines which are a little stiff so they kind of want to sweep them around. Um, so what we do is we mock it all up dry and then mark it with a sharpie and then take it apart and put it back together with some epoxy. Uh, this one has a bleeder here, or bleeding the system. And this one has just a regular flare fitting, or number six flare. There is a bleeder on the ram itself. Um, they're a little smaller and they don't have an O-ring. Uh, these will probably work just fine, especially if you put some, some uh, th pipe thread compound in here um, to keep uh, fluid from spilling past the threads when you're bleeding. Uh, but we just prefer these with the O-ring here. Okay, now it's time for hydraulic lines. We brought a piece of hydraulic hose from the shop that we'll use to kind of help figure out the bends. It already has a flare fitting on it. And uh, we use this, screw it in, and then kind of lay it where it's going to lie. And then we can mark it and measure it and then go make up the hoses in the shop. It's hard to see, but this is slowly going down. Right now we're letting this gravity feed. 
Okay, now we're turning the wheel here. And now we're putting some fluid into the system. You can see the level really dropping. 